They have a different set of rules down there. You have to be extra careful. I know. Bo, be small. Like this? The first time I heard about the Emmett Till event, I was in elementary school. You look like a movie star. What? Bye-bye! It's one of those stories that if you're black, you've heard about it. I want to talk to you about that boy. Most of us would not know who Emmett Till was if it weren't for Mamie. The whole world has to see what happened to my son. Mamie was very aware and intentional about the power of the image to really bring awareness that would result in a level of change and activism and to galvanize people into doing something. You're not just my boy anymore. Orion exists to give a platform to the myriad of filmmakers like Chinoya that have something to contribute to the cinematic canon of American film. And I'm really, really committed to making movies, not just by us, but for us. We put Emmett's story in its proper context and history to understand how his story sparked the American Civil Rights Movement. We get to see how many fights for justice. If something is happening to one of us, it is happening to all of us, and we witness her come into a particular kind of power and to be the progenitor of the civil rights movement. Those pictures of your son changed people's lives. Mamie turned tragedy into purpose, which is why we sit here today. This story needs to be told in a way that is humanizing, empowering, and that is necessary. There will be no physical violence against black people on screen because I'm not interested in relishing in that kind of physical trauma. We're gonna begin and end in a place of joy. You, you just, just beep beeped when you should have bopped. <laughs> Mimi was a catalyst for change. She affected millions of lives for the better. Mimi Tilnobly is a hero. The lynching of my son has shown me that what happens to any of us anywhere in the world had better be the business of us all.